welcome to Bullet Swain Gaming. My name is Bullet Twenty Nine. We're here for our episode of uh, Order of the Wolf, Season Ten or Season One, Episode Ten. I hope you guys enjoyed what we had earlier. I hope you enjoyed what you have in store for you later. Um, a lot of stuff is going to happen today, folks. A lot of stuff is going to happen. Uh, that's part of the reason why I had the other episodes today. Um, so that's why it's really important to, if you don't understand what's happening, uh, make sure you tune into those last two episodes that I did because it's going to give you a little bit of update on what's going to happen. Um, so the one episode where you have Curly doing her spirit walk and then her, uh, her second part of her walk as well. So it's really important that you watch those, understand them. So if you want to understand it more, it's going to be the best thing to do. Um, really excited to see what's in store for the night. Uh, we have our players today. We have a guest person here as well who might be joining our, our campaigns later on. So I'm super excited to see what happens with that as well. Uh, what we're going to end up doing right now is we're going to do a shout out to our sponsors, Rogue Energy, providing 60 different flavors of energy drinks as well as hydration packs. Uh, you can buy your starter pack for $21.99. They come with a shaker bottle as well. Uh, use a bolus 29 in the code. You get 10 to 15% off your purchase along with W Energy also does the same thing as well. AK Racing providing comfort for chairs and chair chairs and tables across the board to gamers alike across the world and across the nation. So real quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get ready to switch on over to our main screen where our players are currently sitting at. And we're going to go ahead and pick up where we left off here momentarily. So let's go ahead and switch over there and we'll make sure our players are ready to go. We'll see you in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready. Our players are ready. Our guest is ready. And we are going to jump on over to our main screen right now. Um, go ahead and mute my stuff on here so that you don't hear an echo on it. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go straight on over to where we are. Uh, to our live screen, which we should have our recap song. It's going to be on for a little bit while we get things going. Uh, let's go ahead and get our image off and our live screen up too so you can see where we're at right now. Uh, our players don't see what you see on the screen right now. They see something completely different. That's because they don't know that this is the area that they're going to. So um, essentially what's happening right now, you all have experienced something very unique. Um, right now, you guys were just engaged in a great battle. And unfortunately, you saw Lord Baron there and he led you away. Um, what happened next was, um, Scarlet's mother took a hit and she fell to the ground and she was transported back to Crothia. Um, okay. Um, and then, uh, what happens next is that Deadleaf, who was, uh, played by, um, Miss, uh, Echo, uh, follows, 
um, Scarlet and Thois. Follows Thois and Scarlet back to Prothea. Uh, later on, she realizes as she's talking to Thois that, you know what? Daggerfall was never the, the objective for for where um, they wanted to attack. It was actually Crothia. And as they get to the town, they find a bloody scene of multiple hundreds of thousands of men dead on a battlefield. The city left in ruins and ultimately the king of Crothia dead. Um, currently, the, the kingdom is ran by essentially a marshal, for example, um, is ran by that gentleman who uh, barges in after an experience with Miss Scarlet occurs. Uh, Thois tries to talk to uh, Scarlet, tries to get a little bit of, you know, comfort for her, and tries to tell her that everything is going to be fine, and that she'll we'll get through this together. She blows him off completely, goes into a different room, and channels in the dark magic. That dark magic then leads to Thois trying to get in to try to cut her um, out of the dark magic that she has conjured up. Unfortunately, at this point in time, he is fighting for her life at this point in time. Um, she doesn't realize that. Uh, she's using dark magic. Uh, it was one of those things where uh, she didn't realize the implications that could follow suit from it. Um, they, uh, she, she then, uh, when she goes into the other room, uh, Echo asks Thois, what's she doing? Um, Thois tells her he, she's conjuring up dark magic. We have to stop her. And from the city wise, from the, for the walls of the town, um, the other individuals, this is going to be Zugar and them, see this this light and shadow cone or cylinder shoot up into the air um, and they go running to it. On the sight of the sea is Scarlet in midair, Thois in midair, Thois in a celestial form trying to fight through to try to get to Scarlet and finally he does and cases are in her wings and his wings and his body and they both fall to the ground. Um, Thois lays on the ground in, in very, very bad shape um and as a result of of that um he is trans he is ordered to be transported to earth loan earth loan is how you pronounce it so everyone's aware earth loan um earth loan is the part of a a elvish world um who you had encountered encountered with um in daggerfall at this point, we come back to the season or come back to the episode. We're going to stop our recap song and we're going to go ahead and start our session here on the Word of the Wolf, Wolf's 29 Game Channel. At this point in time, uh, Echo and yes. Reyna, or uh, Rayla and Eris. Yes. Can you check I, your text to make sure that's yes, okay? Yes, I, I saw that. Let me think about it. I'll get back to you on it. Okay. Eris. Right. Um, Rayla and Echo, you both, all three of you see all of a sudden, Thois, it's taken and put onto a cart and is carried out to, um, to out of the town into a, in the direction of where Irith Lone is. And at this point in time, the gentleman who you just talked to, the one that told you that we need to focus on the bigger picture right now, which is not fighting with each other, Rayla. Um, <laughs> uh, it wasn't fighting, it was informing of idiocy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, but we need to focus on the bigger picture. I mean, technically, she the was guard... about to fight us more since she was going to blow up the castle. But... <laughs> Let's bring, let's, bring it, let's bring it back in. Bring it back in. Uh, at this point <laughs> in time, the guard tells you that you all need to head to Carothia uh, to uh, Irith alone. Um, uh, here momentarily. 
you're gonna head there in the morning he tells you right now you guys need to stop what you're doing you need to go to prep get some sleep you got a long day for you tomorrow now scarlet khaleesi right, kiara and thois are gone they've they've embarked it on into Aerith loan um and made sure and, and they were making sure that they got to the town okay all right at this point in time um echo rayla yeah. and eris what do you want to do i told you what i want to do but you said to think about it so i'm, I'm gonna say no i'm gonna say All no right. at this time i'm off okay. to the armory for some plate armor and crossbows okay um, you would have... can i explore the library yes what are you looking for i know what i'm gonna do <laughs> information about my home uh, city maps and all that okay you go to the library to look at what now does the players the other players don't know where you're from just yep. bear that in mind they don't know so you're gonna go yeah, I, I want you to roll i want you to roll a um investigation check for me all right uh eris Does the 14 work? That's intimidation. Oh, that's an in oh. Investigation. <laughs> Sorry. Stop. 13. Okay. You look, you find some stuff, but not a lot. All right. Okay. I'll still be exploring the library. Okay, you continue okay, to explore. Was... Yes, ma'am. I want like to continue reading that book that I got in the library. Okay, you continue to read it. And once it gets later, uh, she's going to get her rest enough to get a full night's sleep. Okay. Rayla, what are you doing? I'm heading to the armory to get some equipment. Okay. You get the armory. A guard there says, you halt. Who goes there? Really? Hey. Rayla, uh, the order of the wolf. You. My apologies. What can I do for you, sir? I need to get some equipment. Right. What are you looking for, sir? Uh, crossbow. Enough bolts to go on a campaign with. Uh, some plate armor. And a halbert. Oh. I'm a halbert man myself. Yeah, I can see that. Very impressive weapons. Yes, they are. Right, follow me. I'll see what I can do for you. Okay. You both go in. You guys find your stuff. Time goes by. Echo. Yes. What are you doing? I told you I was reading, but is. Uh, so what you. Is, what about time is it? That was my question. It's about evening time now. Okay. Have they had dinner yet? No, they have not. She is going to go out and look for rations. And then she'll go back to reading unless she finds food because she's just going to eat while reading. Okay. Mr. Eris. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to eat a ration and find a way to the forbidden section of the library. <laughs> okay. While well, talking to him. Okay. You have a conversation and you talk to them. You get an idea of what's going on. What are you trying to find? Trying to find out if he remembers how this all started. What caught, what events led to this. Remind me who this is again? 
Prince, Prince Baron. Baron. Prince, Prince Baron. Um. I haven't summoned him. I'm just talking to him in his actual um, objection form. No response. Well, either way, do I make my way to the forbidden section of the library? You can, if you want to. Do an investigation check for me. All right. Information is power. Sixteen. What are you looking for? Knowledge of what it is. The it. it. You mean as an it, as in what you and I discussed. It. Yes. Um. You find some stuff, not a lot. There's not a lot of accounts of it, primarily because it doesn't really happen a lot. Does that make sense? Well, usually like, when, usually in what you're reading, that you find out usually when it happens, something bad happened before it. If you catch my drift. So it's a force of nature. Not really a force of nature. Um, here, I'll type it to you. Give me a second. All right. Well, where are they on the map? You're in Crothia right now. They're, you're all in Crothia. All right. Cool. <laughs> And I take it this will be stuff that I'm going to have to save to my notes. Yes. Does that make sense? Okay. Does that does that make sense? Yes. That that's it's, what I'm talking about. Usually, when it happens, that's what happens before it. Right. That's why that's why there's not a lot of accounts about it. You see what I mean? Yes. Okay. So you you try to find it. You find some stuff, but there's there's not a lot to it. But that's the that, that is the thing that you can get to the foundation on that happens every single time it happens hmm. okay um bullet yes questions. did echo find anything while reading do an investigation check not really much there not She's a lot that you read. not a lot that you can understand there's obviously stuff there but you just can't really understand it she's gonna keep trying to decipher it until okay. uh the point of where she has to sleep or else she can't get a long rest okay sounds good well that's almost soon that's pretty soon yeah that's, that's right. but um is she gonna be riding a horse well do they still have to ride to the kingdom or they still have to ride to ear 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 oh, ear throne. <laughs> Can't speak today. Yeah, the Elvish nation. Would it be stupid if she read on the, the place horse while we riding? need to go? Wait, I, I mean, know. if you want to, it might not go good for you. Uh, well, 
Just say. Whenever she takes pictures. Hey, I know her. Well, listen, she's so terrible. You better not be starting any fires in the uh, library. No, it's not. All right, like that. so all right, let's bring it back in. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. All right, it's time to go to bed. Now, you guys all start to make it out in the morning. Horses are loaded up. You guys load out. You get your equipment. Yep. And you get I, I got the maps. to this. Hey, Bullets, you know what I'm going to do? She's going to read well on the horse. Okay. <laughs> I need your roll acrobatics check then. <laughs> acrobatics? <laughs> Jeez, I'm going to fall. Oh, I have a plus two. It won't be more than... Roll for acrobatics. That's what I'm doing. Scrolling. Roll! It rolls in slow mo, bullets. You know this. 16. Um. I don't think I should fall. Falls off. You don't <laughs> fall? A little shaky, most likely. But you can't really read a lot because you're not comfortable with the idea. Okay. Like, you're not really. Uh, they're, they're, sound. They're, yeah. That's fine. As long as she reads some, just okay. try. How much? How, how much more of the book does it look like she has to read? <sighs> Quite a bit, but she still. It's, it's not the fact. It's not the number of pages and how big it is. It's the content of it. She's trying to understand it. She can't quite grasp it. Yeah, I get that. That makes I was sense. Just yep. All right. So at this point, you make it to Crothia. Um, you're going down, you're making your way towards Scrothia. You make it past the forest. And I need Aerith or uh, Rayla, I need you to roll an investigation check. Ah, shoot. You want me to do it? Yeah, go ahead and do it. Alright. Roll, roll a, uh, Investigation, investigation check. Yeah, real investigation. Fifteen. Is that for Rayla's? Oh, oh no. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll roll. I'll roll it because I have his card right here. All right. Uh, Rayla, you're going to roll an investigation check, sir. Let's see how you do. <laughs> well, did you guys hear me burp? I hope not. Uh, yes. right, good. Okay, well, you rolled a 16, really so 17 total. All right, so you rolled a 17. All right, so Rayla. I don't know if he's here yet. Um, I'll, I'll let him know when he gets back. So um, as you start to move forward, you pass into now more of what is the... Now, Curly, this is familiar for you, okay? I don't know if you remember that. This is all familiar for you. Uh, you come to... This. The outskirts. Now, from this point, you start to see... Um, you start to see... Oh, Rayla. Perfect. Back. Perfect. Okay, Rayla. I want you to um, look at your DMs because I'm going to be messaging you something. Okay. okay. Um, you see this. I rolled your investigation check for you, but you see this. <laughs> you see that. Like in a way that would make it look like it was fresh? Yes. Ah, and um... And you can assume uh, who it is. What are doing right now? You can assume whose it is. You're on your way to Irithlon. Okay. Now you said I know whose it is? Yeah, you have an idea of whose it is. Um... It's, uh, Thois, isn't it? Correct. Everyone, voice is in trouble. Mm. 
Well, let's say I do something. Huh? Can I, can I do something? No key. What do I you don't want to do? Book away and then just darts off with the horse. Wait, no, you don't even know which way you. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it. Have you listened to me? I never listen. Are you assuming um, that he's that way? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, do you follow the path? Spell option. Option. Gangled Gangled person. Person. Are you guys chasing her or no? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you're chasing her. You're chasing her. She is going. Yes, you're still on the same path. Okay, you finally so get to this. Yes, yeah, she's at least. Everything. There's only one pathway to it. So you finally get to this part. Okay. You continue down the pathway, going to the river. Echoes in front. Rayla and them are behind. Um, you finally get past this point, and you get to this. You approach this gateway. You approach this. You finally get to the point where um, you come to the point where Rayla, I need you to do one more investigation check for me real quick. Waiting for Echo to get stopped by guards and then it, it'll be fun experience for them. Will, will you not ruin it for me, please? Get shot by right. hero. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Rayla, go ahead and do an invest. Did you do an investigation? It's just yeah, loading. It's right yeah. Now. 12. <laughs> okay. Not the role I wanted to have, but okay. Um, you lose track of the blood. But you can definitely tell this is where he's going. That child is getting us messed up. You can assume that this is definitely where he's going, though. I was a little more concerned with trying to get Echo to not go and blow up the castle. Right. Yeah. I, uh, so... All right. Don't you so you move forward. It. It's made of rocks. All right. So upon the walls, you see two banners. Now, uh, Curly, you know which ones I'm talking about. You see two banners. Okay. You see golden and yellow. But you also see yellow and uh, red and gold. Red and gold symbolizes, and upon this banner, there are um wings and a rose <coughs> okay yeah and the the wings are kind of cupping the rose this is the symbol now let's see Rayla what class are you again paladin paladin and you're you're ta you're a tiefling, Eris, right? Yes. Okay, so you know this. Okay, then you both know this. Okay. Oh, is it written in Infernal? No. This is the symbol for the celestial realm. Okay. Um the celestial realm is dealt with with the Azamars, fallen Azamars, so on and so forth. Those are the celestial beings. Okay. At this point, you enter in towards the town. Echo is stopped. Thanks for ruining it for me, Echo. Echo is stopped by a guard at the entrance going, Do that! Halt! To be honest, I thought I was muted. <laughs> halt! Who goes there? That's one of ours. That's ours. Princess Echo. Don't, don't kill her. <laughs> I don't scream over both of them. Princess Echo. Kill the Echo. idiot. I gotta do it, Here's folks. I gotta do it. Choice. If they're here. So, there's a couple of guards that come out, and they're like, I'm so confused. Is she with her or is she not with her? I don't know. Did you ask? I asked. But she's fighting us. I don't know what to do. I'm oh, not fighting fight? you. What, what, does the, what does the handbook say? I don't know. Get the handbook out. You know, will see. He runs over and gets the parchment. He says... I just think about them all their big uh, yeah. Ah, here it is. Right here. Oh, no, no. So you cannot let anyone in unless they are with an actual leader or understanding that there is a word from the castle that... 
They look up. Yeah, they go. Right. You... Oh, oh. They look up at Rayla and Eris, and they go, "Where'd she go?" <laughs> she does that. You're going to need to get some handcuffs or chains. They look at each other and go. Get me a weighted net. They look at each other and go, "Oh crap." <laughs> they start to. They start to ring the. They start to ring the bell. Hold person. <laughs> they, they ring the bell. And all of a sudden, these guards start running all over the place. <laughs> Find the moron. <laughs> they start running towards the castle. Echo. Yes. I need you to uh, roll a uh, stealth check for me. That's roll faster. You slow poke dice. All I'm going to say is, I'm sorry for the idiot. <laughs> 14. All right, you don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it had to be a 15 in order to make it. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. No sorry. No but. So, you uh, you try to make it past the guard, and all of a sudden it goes, the guard says, Hold! You hold! Hold! A couple guards block it off. They grab the reins of the horse. <laughs> You better uh, not. Rayla and Eris, you finally make it up to them. Oh, oh, you, you, you guys are gonna want to stop her because she, she's um. All right, so uh, she's getting rugby tackled. Hey, hey, hey! I want to do inflict wounds. <laughs> you can't do that while you're getting uh, you know. I can't do inflict wounds because it's a touch spell. You can't cast spells while you're grappled. I, I you can. haven't grappled me yet, have you? <laughs> Roll, roll. So anyway. I am bullets. I want to roll for the fluffy moons, please. If that's okay. Permission, please. I, I want to cast it. Kind of already in. Uh, I'm She's rolling already it in case he says roll. it. Oh, I want to cast it. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm guys. going to say no. You cannot. <laughs> You still have to pass You the cannot, so you cannot, it. Rayla, Eris, you cannot grapple her either. Thank you. I, oh, come on, I already said that I was no. grappling. I was smacking her upside the head with the magic hands. Captain of the guard comes up to you guys and tells you, Oh, you're part of the order, aren't you? Hurry, this way. <laughs> Queen Scarlet's over here. That's a great example. No, that's literally what I could do. She just did. She just yelled at them. That's what I've been trying to do! So, you finally well, get taken up to the you castle. Put the entire castle in high you, guys, um, guys. all right, hold on, hold on. All right, so at this point in time, um, this point in time, there's a somb, somb, oh my gosh. So, yes, there's a, that there's that mood going there, on right there. now at the castle. It's quiet. I do my thingy thing. It's eerie. No, nope. hold on. Rayla, you've crossed over into past all of these these towns. You know, these parts, you guys chased Echo through all of these. Okay? Chased it through all of these parts in the in the sides of um of uh, the town, essentially. Well, seeing the people weren't willing to just trip someone. Seeing seeing the the yellow and gold and seeing the red and gold banners. Which ironically are in here. They're pretty cool. Um, you finally get to the point where you all come to where there's a cart. And within the cart, a pool of blood. The blood is traced back up to the stairs to inside.
There's individuals outside praying, chanting in old elvish language. The bell rings in the tower. There's a silence that has fallen over the town. What do you guys do? Go up where they're chanting to, or whatever they're doing. I am grabbing her by the scuff of the neck so she doesn't interrupt the ritual. Okay. <laughs> Come on! Can I guys... walk into the bloody thing? The, the guys, you guys start going up the stairs. Because that's where I go went. She went up the stairs. You guys start to go up the stairs. And in a hallway. Uh, but. Um, you see a doorway. Or a door. Into more of what looks like a, a courtyard kind of thing. With windows. On the ground, you see Kiara laying on the ground in a very, very anxious, very anxious Scarlet pacing back and forth in front of the door. Scarlet, what happened? <clears throat> oh. Oh, hi guys. Um uh, he's uh, uh, the voice isn't doing too well. He called that you dark magic and didn't, did you? He, he, yeah, I wanted to try to un understand what uh, what Barrett just, meant and just for clarification, what, are you referring to the time in the castle? Yeah. No, she's asking if Scarlet decided to use magic again. Right, but are you talking about the time that in the castle, or are you talking about the time before when they split up? Uh, when she left with Thoise. When she left yeah. with Thoise. Okay, I just want to make sure you clarify that before you go farther into it. So, so what I was about to say was about that, correct? Well, like, you were saying was you you would say no, I didn't use it again because you didn't use magic again. He's talking about the time that you used magic. Already once. Okay, so so okay, so right before they left, essentially. Correct, right before they left. Okay, okay. Um. Well, when 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 I was in the castle with you guys, I um, I had a lot of um. Baron was telling me that I was capable of the magic, and I thought maybe if I used the dark magic and understood it, I thought maybe. It would stop the war and help you guys and maybe, you know, let Baron join us. It seems like um, maybe my um, paladin order's teachings could have gone a bit more thorough with the idea that black magic is not something to be used. I, I, I realize that um, now Rayla, um, he, he... From the room, from the room, you hear screaming. You hear the scream of Thoise. He's been waiting for that. He saved me from it. Um, before I lost myself in it. Um, I'm, I'm sorry guys that I put you through that. Well, it's, can I put my, I want to do something. Go for sorry. it. Uh, I put I, my I, hand on Scarlet's shoulder. Listen, Scarlet, I also have a power like you and I'm trying to learn how to control it. Yes, you what? Dark Mine Please. is different. Yeah, but, but mine's different, my dear. I know, but you can't just rush to use it. I was gonna do it in your forest, and then I realized I would burn everything down. Because I saw what I could do in the past. But I'm not saying that it's 100%, but maybe you can learn how to control that. And not give in to the darkness. But right now we should focus on boys. Piranha? I... I you hear more almost, screams in the room. I almost killed him, though. It's okay, Scarlet. It 
happens. It's going to sound really insensitive, but wasn't he already dead? I know something else that you guys don't know. Anyway. <laughs> it, it, either way, I want to chime in right now. Um. So, both of you have something unique. Y yeah. Um, I just honestly, to be honest with you guys, when it happened, when I used the dark magic, um, my parents told me I had it, and so did Baron. Um, so... When my father ran after him in the war and I chased after him, I wanted to make sure he wasn't going to be reckless, so... When I was told about this black uh, magic that I had, this dark magic I could use, um, no one was really explaining it to me, not not even I, Thois. I feel like I should chime in. Distant screams of Thois again in the background as they continue the ritual. Um... But, um, so, so when I, that's why I conjured it, guys. It wasn't to commit suicide or anything like that. I just wanted to understand it because no one was giving you me. Know, one would think that the name Dark Magic would be an indication of why you shouldn't. I, I under, I understand that. Um, I, and I learned that every time you use Dark Magic, there's always a, a sacrifice and, Thoise could have been the one for me that could have sacrificed himself for us. For me. Can I kind of state this? Yeah. You guys yeah, can. Yeah, this is between you, you guys. Die. You guys keep going, but you just hear no, the distant I, screams. I, I feel like it's time to save his name. You just hear distant screams in the background of Thoise as you can picture the ritual taking place in the background as he's trying to get through this. I'm, I'm listening to what you're going to say. Um, hold on. I'm, g I'm gonna listen to what you're saying, Eris, but at the same time, I'm gonna run up to the window. Like, then still keep a really close eye on um, Thois as you're explaining what you're gonna explain. J just as a thing. That thing is not Baron. What? What do you mean it's not Baron? How do you, how do you know? It's a vessel. Oh, well... That... It's using its his body oh no it's been trying to manipulate you for months oh probably even years uh, oh Eris if anything it seems like it wants a vessel to last forever to live in this realm uh, I thought something was off about Baron something and just didn't quite seem right I feel like but, it's best to keep his the other thing secret right now at this point uh, you guys start to hear the raindrops and the thunder outside it begins to rain You hear these distant scream of Thois again, and the chanting in the background, and the prayers. As you guys discuss, you see these clerics, these elvish clerics, run past you, open the door frantically, and run back in, bringing supplies. You notice Kiara is scratching at the door, trying to get in. To no avail. From a distance, you start to see a figure make his way up to you. It's an elvish priest. He comes up to you and he goes, Good evening. You must be the order. Yes. 
Thank you so much for your hospitality and and your um, coven helping us through this. I think I said that great word, coven or covenant. Anyway, anyway you get my get point. My point. <laughs> <laughs> he looks over at you, Eris. Good to see you again, nurse. See you too. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Thalin. Thalin Fingalor. Just for that, can I cast a magic hand and just smack him upside the head? <laughs> okay, that was good. I gotta give you that one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, uh, it's really the <laughs> thing that happening? he has a life outside of trying to keep her I'm in check. scared. What is happened? It, is it possible, Fallon, if we could see Joyce or not yet? Not yet, my dear. He's weak. Is you see, we have a cut, uh, quiet place for me to discuss the, what's really going on with I, uh, Scarlet, and my friend here. Um. You see, at this point in time, Thois has been inflicted by dark magic. Same magic that was here present many years ago by our prince Prince Baron however now he's no longer Prince Baron He looks down. He's really weak right now. I don't know if we can save him. The damage is too extensive. However, there was someone who did something to try to prevent the spread. He looks over at you, Scarlet. He goes. I'm guessing that was you, my dear. I had to. It felt right. He, he didn't deserve what he did to, for me there. Tell me, my dear, what did you see? Um, when I was in the middle of conjuring the dark magic that Lord Baron was trying to convince me to do, and I was trying to understand it, um, he went through the force field and ended up grabbing me out of it. Wings and everything and grabbed me out and rescued my soul from it, from me losing myself. And I cussed. And I think this mark on my wrist is part of why I wanted to try it like an idiot <laughs> I understand my dear but I'm saying that there's some magic that was done to prevent the spread <laughs> that was me just healing him um, tell me what did you see it is very crucially important you must tell us I however private it may be we need to know and judging by well, the looks on your compadre's friends, they would probably be interested in it as well. Um, while I was healing him, um, I saw his childhood memories, and when I was captured at a young age from the Arcanes and Druid clan, he was riding on Kiara's back when he was a teenager trying to rescue me. Um, 
he failed. But there's that and how he was always <laughs> there for me in other moments, even when I was lost in becoming myself. Um, and I also saw that he always was there for me as a guardian and how he's always been there for me, especially. <laughs> Is that clear enough? <laughs> disappeared. She'll be back. She'll be fine. Um, as you continue to talk, you see the priests look down. Look back up at you. And he goes, You might have saved his life, but it is too soon to say. I really hope they did, because he sacrificed so much for me already. He doesn't need to sacrifice anything. You hear in the background him yelling, please, no. Stop, please. It hurts. Rayla, um, Eris, and Echo, what do you guys do? Just put my hands together and with my mouth and say, I was right. Can you repeat what happened? Sorry. Rayla puts her hands together, breathes out to her mouth, and no, just what, whispers. What just happened? My no. brother was talking to me. Um, essentially, the priest is saying that Echo, or not Echo, but Scarlet might have saved his life, but it might have come at a price. He starts to explain stuff that kind of you have already read about a little bit. Um, um, Eris, you've kind of already read this a little bit. He goes, you see, this dark magic rarely ever happens. And the person who conjures it usually pays the price. Those who come in contact with the dark magic pay even heavier price. Priest looks back at the door. See what Thois did. See ultimately put his own life at risk. Being a celestial form, being a spiritual form. This dark magic destroys anything in its path. Because you see, it doesn't destroy your living being. Destroys your soul. Exactly. This is soul magic. Just to be clear to everyone, this magic is something to not be dealt with or something to be tampered with without one who knows how to heal. You, Eris. Everyone knows better than that. Yeah, I think the cleric knows how to heal, but she tries to kill things most of the time. I, look to the side I do like, not try to kill things all the time. Come enough. On. Enough. Now is not the time to fight. Run up at the window and ignore what they're saying and arguing and roll my eyes. And I'm just watching the window of... Voice. I look at it. As she's doing that, I pinch her ear and drag her back. This is something you need to know. I want to look at the person. I already heard this. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, are you running to the window, Echo? Is that what you're doing? No, 
Oh no, run. I'm confused of what's happening. Scarlet's running to the window to. Scarlet's sure running to the window to see what's going on with Thoise. Yep. I look over at the person next to us. Okay. I mean, the person who's talking to us. Okay. And if anything bad does happen, I could try to use my Spare the Dying, but it might not work since he's already celestial. Unfortunately, my child, it will not work. That's what I thought. Oh, you see, it is a spiritual sickness, a spiritual death. It is not is there that. I could do? Unfortunately, no. At this point in time, unfortunately, only time can heal. Uh, and time. Question, though? Yes. We did get a long rest, right? You did. Okay, I was making sure. Uh, we're gonna pop over to Scarlet real quick. You look through the window, and you see what I explained to you before on your session. Yep. Um. Lois continues to scream in pain. You see, what we are doing is we are diving deeper and deeper into his past. To his pain. You see this dark magic feeds off of the soul of fear and regret. That is why it is so deadly. It, it's probably maybe showing you like when he failed to protect me when I was young. Um, how how he feels like he failed me because of him being protective of me and how I was captured for a while um, by the Argonescent clan that um, that Lord Baron runs um, and uh, I think all those memories of him protecting me and failing for so long of those four years I was captured just probably what you're seeing. Uh, probably also dealing with the death of my two parents because they died with him, like beside him. And even him as well. And Kiara taking the arrows as well. Um, yeah. Um, yes? Uh, once we're done with Charlie, I want to do something. Where are you? Sorry. Um, I'm going to walk away from the window, sit on a chair, if there is a chair. There, Yeah, I'll say there's a chair. And sit down no. and just cry I... guilt and guiltiness and anger about the whole situation with Thoise. So, what what do you do now? Um, Iko wants to walk out of the room that they're in. Okay. Um, and then go up to a guard and ask if there is any training areas near. And you'll see what I'm doing in a minute, and no, I'm not using my flamey flamey. Long ones. The training room is not open right now. Okay. Um, she looks at him and literally just stares at him and says, Is there any trees nearby? No forest fires. No forest fires! Child, now's not the time to be destroying stuff. Guys, I'm not destroying stuff. You specifically asked for a tree. I know Hush. how you do with the trees. Hush. Unfortunately, this time, you're not going to be able to do any of that stuff. I'm not doing any of that stuff. I know. I'm just saying right now, you're not going to be able to do anything besides being there because they're going to get ready to escort you to your rooms. I'm going okay. to you to your rooms. Uh, is my family home oh, still standing? Is your what? Is my family home still standing? I know it's been a long time since I've been home. My dark magic didn't go that far. If that's what you're trying to get at. No, there's other... There's reasons why I'm asking. I believe now is the time to share. Eris. The priest looks at you. Alright. 
time to fair. I think it's time for the full story. I had no idea you were huh? the one city I hate the most. I glare at him. I'm her. It. It? What What are you talking about, Eris? Oh, I was talking to you. Oh. I'm Either saying way. in character. <laughs> I... Bullets... Can I summon him? Real arcane. Yeah. Also, first, I think we should go to a quiet place where there's no one else around. Let's head back to my home. Can't leave Philly slow. He'll be fine. This is something you need to hear that I cannot discuss out in public. Okay, just. Or a place just... like this. Um, give me one sec, okay. Eris, and I'll come. I do one final. Follow me. Look. I have a room right here. You guys news. Oh, okay. I was going to say, he I takes just you quickly... to your room. He takes you to your room. That's next to the. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to DM you it because I don't want okay. them to know that yet. <laughs> that. I think okay. <laughs> okay. And then follow them. Do they see this? No, I hope not. That's okay. why I DM'd you. Oh. Roll, a, roll a stealth check for me. Oh, stealthy, stealthy. Roll a stealth yeah. check. Uh oh. Oh no. I know something. No. <laughs> okay. No way. They definitely see you do this. They definitely see you do this. I am so sorry. Oh. Like, all right. What did you do? You see Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet. You see Scarlet. Block twist. You see Scarlet as she starts to make her way out. Paris. Um, I want to have everyone roll because this is a big deal. I want everyone okay. to roll. Um, perception. Perception for me. Perception. Oh. God. oh. Oh no. Oh geez, how <laughs> serious is this? I'm scared now. Please roll high. Please roll high. Please roll oh, high. Nat Please roll 20. high. Please roll high. I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that definitely did not give me any It sucks because the only person who actually knew this happened was Eris, and it's freaking hilarious because and my character <laughs> actually had oh. assumptions about this too. Uh, so, Eris oh. is the only one that sees this. I want everyone to understand that. Okay, <laughs> Eris is the only one. Echo, Rayla, you did not see this. Okay. Okay. I need a response from you. Yes or no? Echo? Yes, sir. Rayla? Moby, answer. Did I see it? No, you no. don't see it. No, we just have to listen. Okay. okay. And then be quiet about it for the rest of the session. You don't. You see Miss Scarlet blow a kiss to Thwice before she leaves. No! No! And in my head, I say I do it. And that's going to be discussed later with her by herself. You guys all go into a room. And you all of a sudden are in the room with the priest. And with the, uh, the rest of them. The priest says, I'll leave you two alone, or I'll leave you through, uh, four alone. Walks away. Thank you, priest. And... 
So, what's up, Eris? What did you want to say? Well, first, I think it's time for you to know something. Mm. What do we I, need to know? I started explaining my backstory, uh, and bullets you're going to have to correct me if I'm wrong on some parts. Don't you keep it in a note? Jeez, that was a big Easy. burp. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, the whole entire backstory we did. Oh, the spirit walk. E e even bullets expanded upon the backstory of my character through a spirit walk. Yeah, it was very nice and a big twist. But I'm not. I'm not so, Scarlet does not. Again, know. <laughs> if anybody wants to listen to it, watch that session. Very. Yeah, you just want me to explain it. Yes. And then you can do that. Okay. All right. Okay. Eris goes on to explain. He grew up in the town of Erythron. Both of his parents were killed by a ritual. This ritual is the dark magic of Prince Baron. And now Queen Scarlet conjured up. This magic was started to try to stop an evil man from before, who Eris had came into contact with. And as a result, Eris had become the living proof or the living witness of that account of what happened. And he's the only one that survived. His families were killed. His family ran, he ran away. His family tr uh, ran away. They were found, they ran away again. His mother and father did not make it. Oh no. He finds out that Lord Baron is really not Lord Baron, but instead an entity, which takes the form of a living host. And Lord Baron can be summoned in a way, the spiritual Baron can be summoned by him because he a part of his soul or part of his spirit when that magical spell was casted is now inside of him and, and as he does that as he explains I'm guessing you want to so we're going to go ahead and have you do it um, we're going to have you conjure your spell okay and before you stands a spiritual more like a ghost a spiritual form of Baron time to die wait wait no don't please Rayla don't do that Baron okay. is that you Fine. Scarlet I'm so sorry for what you have to go through. This was not supposed to happen. It's okay, Uncle Baron. It, it's okay. I, I forgive you. It's, it's okay. You forgive him? Well, he's my but uncle, Echo. We didn't know that. You have to remember that. Oh, I know that. So that's why it's I hinted at it like that. Fault. You, you, I, wait, my character wait. Would fuck up. I would be fine. To say this. I never meant my any character. harm to fall upon any of you. None of you. Forget us. What about the f country? I don't think this is the same person. Enough, everyone. This is my same. uncle. He really messed up. This is not time to point fingers. He did really mess up. Hey, guys, leave my uncle out of this, okay? Baron <laughs> kind of just he nods his head. Is older in this country. Baron nods his head and kind of slowly takes a step back. Uh, the man that you see. The man that you see 
in your world is not me. But instead, a dark entity, dark spirit, dark form, me. That person is not me. It all makes sense, Uncle Baron. Um, Bullets. What, um... As he, as you, is... as you talk to him, he's kind of floating over to where you are. And you see him just try to reach out and touch the side of your face, but it can't. It just kind of goes through. By the way, bullets. While he was doing I'll, that, Echo I'll put her hand say, on her sword. Him, you know, you can try to possess my body. No, temporarily. No. Wait. No. What I appreciate the offer, but no. I want to rest. I've been in so much pain. I want to rest. Uh, Uncle Baron, um, I have a, a thought, but if you want to rest, I completely respect that. Um, the amulet that um, Thoyce gave me, would that work? For you to rest in or or will that not work i, I want to speak up now the only way up, to, but I can think for the only way for his spirit to rest is to destroy the entity that's currently possessing his body ah thank, thank you eris for that and i appreciate you telling us all this and right now, I know. none of us are ready to face it. Scarlet, mm -hmm. promise me. Promise me, I will rest. And bury me with my brother. We will, Uncle Baron. I know. I know. My uh, father was telling me that. <laughs> father was telling me that you are a good person and to try to find it. So, if that's what you wish, that's what we'll do. You Relax. deserve that. It's time for me to go. And he slowly starts to dissipate away. Can I say what I? I... Was I'll talk to you later, can, Baron. Can I say what I was trying to say? Yes, you can say what you were going to do. You just gotta wait, though. <laughs> I was waiting, and everyone else was talking, but I didn't get to talk. What did yeah, you want to say? Yeah, was really talking to me. <laughs> anyway, go well, on. Well, next is with Talkie. What Anyways, do you want to say? Uh, Echo looks at, at Scarlet. Like, her uncle's gone, right? I'm sorry, what? No. Her, her uncle, uncle is gone, gone right? right? Her uncle, spirit, is alive, yeah, yeah. and yeah, her his body is the his. Left. The spirit left, but he, he's ne yes, he's but technically not. not dead. He's technically yes, not dead. He's alive. He, he technically, I'm going to say this. He can technically see it through my eyes. Okay, cool. He can. I don't care. Anyways, she looks at Scarlet. Scarlet, take this in no offense, but right now I'm not gonna trust your uncle after everything that evil spirit has done. But it isn't his, though. I get that. But I'm still not gonna trust it. And she just walked out of the room. Well, my father did say to try to find the good in him, and that to me says it right there. Eris, I appreciate you holding his spirit safe and conjuring it safely and keeping him safe and letting us know. Um, because if I didn't know that, I probably would have tried again. So, we need thank to you. Make sure the group, the we might have to skill his body until it and its body until we're ready. Yeah. Yeah. One of these days, Benaxis, I'm going to need you to write a children's song or a children's bedtime story about not using dark magic for stupid stuff. 
<laughs> oh, don't worry. Oh. And also, I go. Would my character know I uh, Rayla from his past? Um, roll a history check for me. I don't know that I was involved in that. Hey, yeah, we'll you don't know I was involved. Oh, I I was just wondering yeah. if it yes. Spam. Um, did they sh ever show them to the rooms? No, you're okay. you're just so standing in the, you're you standing in the hallway. No as you're just literally in the hallway. I hate the city. Um, um, Echo, just can, can, I'm asking if I can do this. Can Echo kind of just walk out to a brick wall and just punch it? If that's what you would like to yeah, do, that's what you I can. would like to do because she's really pissed off, and that's the only way she's gonna be able to get anger out. That's why I was trying to find the truth. Okay, you punch the wall. That's like these. And you take seven damage. Deal unarmed damage to yourself. I I'm trying to figure out what you mean by what you. You said. know what? You know what? All right. Oh, are you talking about? Yes. I knew that. I'm was not damage, sure. But Did oh, anyone that. see her? That's my question now. No. Especially now that she's uh, gone out of the room. <laughs> well, I'm talking about was there so, anyone in the courtyard? Too? Sorry. So you and Doyce. <sighs> yeah. Um. <y> yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Okay, so the interaction is going to be now between you three, so you guys can do whatever you want. You heard this, uh, you heard him say it, Rayla. Um. <laughs> um. He, yeah. didn't, he didn't say what. Uh, really? <laughs> he didn't say entirely what. You just know there's something between the two. So you guys take it how you want it. Honestly, thank you for keeping it a secret. Uh, now oh, I'm gonna go if there's back anything to between anybody. Now you have a better reason not to use dark magic to murder yourself. <laughs> the voice was the one who saved me. He's the one who made the most sacrifices. But for me, I'm, I won't say this. I think it's time for us to head to my family home. So you guys aren't heading home. You're heading to your rooms. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Echo, yeah. you get taken. I, you get taken care that. of. You get taken care of, and then you get escorted to your rooms. Okay. Some time goes by. Yeah, that's what we want. Raylan has some flashbacks. We're getting there, but yes, you can. We're getting there right now. I was okay. just making sure it's fine. So, Echo. Rayla is going to kill me. Some time goes by. Eris and Rayla are going to be in bed. Okay. You hear some noises outside of your room. Sleeping and you go investigate and all of a sudden you open the door <laughs> and you see Scarlet running out towards the courtyard oh god not this stuff again what do you do I follow Scarlet please okay I want you to follow Scarlet. Scarlet no <laughs> you guys are asleep <laughs> oh Curly's gonna have fun with this one oh great I said the two so we left the idiots alone Oh, Curl no. So Curly, you follow Curly. Okay. Yeah. You follow her out to the courtyard. And you see with your eyes Joyce and Scarlet embracing one another. Not as friends, but obviously something okay. more than friends. But most importantly, at the end of it, you see them kiss. Can I just call across the courtyard real quick? God. <laughs> Kill the moon. <laughs> yes. Hey, lovebirds, you done yet? I just ignore her. <laughs> I just ignore her too. I just ignore her too. Oh my goodness, you guys are so mean to me! What did I do to you? You really only get attention when you try to destroy stuff. I'll destroy my hand so, if you want me to. At this point, 
in time. <laughs> so, at this point, Echo. Yes. You see from a distance. You are not able to do anything. I'm going to tell you that right now, okay? You're not going to be able to do anything about it. But you see, all of a sudden, a column of smoke appear in front of, Cur of Scarlet and Thois. And it's Lord Baron. But not the spiritual one. The, the one that you guys are familiar with. In front of you. In front of Thois and Scarlet. From behind them, you start to see two wolves appear, walking forward. And you see an exchange of words take place. And all of a sudden you see Baron take out a spiritual animal. And shoots some dark magic at it. The animal is dropped to the ground, motionless. And the entity, the figure, disappears. And Thois and Scarlet embrace again. At this point, Scarlet collapses to the ground and Thois holds her. While the wolves stand by close by. And Echo start walking towards them. Sure. You start walking towards them. Is Lord Baron still there? No, Lord Baron's gone. And the wolf spirit is gone. So she walked over there? Why does this hatred always come to me all this time? <laughs> why? Why? I don't want you to suffer. Spirit. I I understand, but <laughs> why me? That she saw the animal, right? Yes. Yeah, I have a spiritual scene thinking about Barbara. I feel like God. No, no, I know, but I I just want to know if you saw the rabbit yeah. part. He just killed my. My best friend, when, he, when we were kids, I wish she was in her bunny spirit. It was her favorite animal. And she's crying in Thoise's arms. I don't know why he chose you, Scarlet. She looks at Thoise. You're looking better. I'm not 100%. Said better, not perfect. Because of her. She's the reason why. Charlotte, was she the one that we buried? Yeah, you know those bones that we found? And she wanted us to... No, but remember those bones oh, that... Yeah. yeah. Remember those bones that Rayla was holding? Yeah. They were hers. That was her. That's her spirit oh, still animal. still holding them, but yes. Yes. I... am sorry. Oh, sorry, I... anyway. I'm sorry, but none of my magic will help with that. But no, no, it's okay. We don't need to revive her, but I appreciate the thought. Um, my parents took, took the animal anyway. Um, but no, she wanted to be buried at the Druid Circle where my family was as well. So we'll when we go back after there. After all of this is over with your uncle. Yeah. But for now, Scarlet, you should rest. Yeah. 
What do you think, Phyllis? Would you like to Phyllis have a resting? Would you like to come, my dear? Today is another day to fight. Today, however, is a day of rest. We need to sleep. Get our energy up. Be ready for the next day. Come. Off to bed we go. I love how Scarlet didn't even realize Echo's hand that punched the wall. If there's anything to do with that. Well, her mind's elsewhere and elsewhere right now. I mean, I know. so. All right, so you guys, Echo, you go back up to room. I'm not going to sleep yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, Scarlet and Thoise, control yourself. Scarlet and Thoise go into the bedroom and um, go to sleep. Nothing fancy. She was in tears anyway about it. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Echo, what are you doing? I'm texting you something real quick. All right, there you go. Okay, it's fine. All right. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. She also, when she couldn't get rest, she was reading, just so you know. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay, so at this point, what we're going to do is we're an hour and a half into our session. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be okay. right back after this session, or after this break, and we'll go back into more of the storyline of The Order of the Wolf, Season 10, 1, Episode 10.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get ready to get back into our session of uh, the d, d session that we are in. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened. A lot of stuff has happened. Um, the uh, storyline has taken a twist. Uh, one that, that a lot of people have asked questions about and have asked inside about. And now it is officially there. Um, Scarlet and Thoise are a thing yes they are a thing um they are now um they are now seeing it with their own eyes um scarlet has come to the realization that uh voice has liked her um uh, and has always been there for her has always taken care of her and is now ready to uh, be the bad in the relationship um <laughs> Uh, get ready to uh, to go forward to, to, to <laughs> they're talking they're talking to me in the background uh, so theoretically theoretically they're around the same age because he was a teenager um, at the date of her birth so she's not that much older than he's only like probably what 10 or 13 10 or 13 years older It's not a very good sir. He's all right. So what we're gonna do? Uh, what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jump back into our screen real quick, and uh, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. The answer to your question is no. You are not. Uh, really? Wait, there's actually someone. There's actually someone older. How? 
You will find out soon. By the way, bullets. You did you see my second guys, guys, I'm gonna right. start. start. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in and um. The morning si sunlight comes through the clouds. The rain has stopped. The wind has subsided. And you are now in your rooms. We're going to start. We're going to go with each one. Each one is in their own rooms, obviously, except for obviously, you know who. Um. <laughs> We're going to start with Eris. Eris, you wake up. What are you doing, sir, in your room? I'm getting ready for the journey to my hometown. Okay, you get ready. Um, is that all you want to do? And also head into the library. To We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're just focusing on the rooms right now. So you're you're wanting to just get ready to get ready for the day, right? That's all you're doing. Yes. Okay. Rayla. Rayla. What do you want to be doing? Okay, I got this. I got this. I'm good. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. A lot has a lot has happened from last night. <laughs> a lot has happened. Come back here. I'll also, can I say one thing? Can sure. I go knock on uh, her door. In just a second, like I said, we're just focusing on the rooms right now. <laughs> okay. What are you doing, Rayla? Uh, did the uh, Minaxis knock on the door? Not yet. We'll, we'll we'll do that here in a second. Okay. I'm good. I am calm. Is that all? Is that all you're doing? Just trying to settle some nerves for being back in this accursed city. All right, so we're gonna have you just focus on. Uh, so you're just doing that right now, correct? Yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have Miss um, Echo. What are you doing? No, Echo was reading her book last night like on and off to sleep right so she looks out the window and realizes it's morning time and she puts on her shoes and just lays back in bed <laughs> okay that's all she does all right now for the part that everyone's probably asking about now <laughs> scarlet what are you and thoris doing uh, well, I can't say for Thoise, but, um, so she... Well, Thoise is still asleep. His okay. arm's around you. You're, you're, he's still asleep. Okay. Um, so I kind of, like, turn to face him, um, while he's sleeping. And, uh, I kind of check to make sure, like, you know, that he's still okay, that there's no fever. There's, you know what I mean? Like, no side effects. He has a little bit of a fever still, and you notice that from him last night as well. He was not 100% health. Um, he was obviously still recovering, still recuperating. And he had a fever, and he still has a little bit of fever. Not a high fever, but he has a fever. Um, so I like touch, I, like feel his forehead with my wrist, check he's make sure he's okay, and I realize he's a little hot. Um, I give him a nice kiss on the forehead and try to get out and get like a like a is there a sink anywhere uh well you don't have a sink there's no sinks but you have water <laughs> bowls water. like a wash bowl yeah or yeah so anyway anywhere to get water okay you have a wash bowl um as you the... get out of the bed he kind of just rolls over a little bit and grunts Rest, my dear. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm not going far. And I take a cloth and I wet it um, with cold water. Is it? Can I check the temperature of the water, or is it cool? What's the temperature of the water? 
it's cold in the morning right now. Um, so at this point in time, it would be cold water, yeah. But okay. later on in the day, it wouldn't be cold. Right, so I put, um, I take a cloth and I put it in the wash bowl, um, dip it in and then kind of, oh my god, what's it called? Like strain it and then rinse lightly it. dip. Yeah, rinse it. Thank you. And, uh, rinse it and just gently put it on his forehead and his neck. If I can reach the neck, if not, forehead's fine. And just around his face, slightly you, dab it. You go to put it on his forehead. And as you do that, he kind of flinches. <laughs> you kind of hear him start to breathe heavy again. And he starts to relax a little bit more. Hey, hon, it's okay. So he's obviously still recovering from the ritual, uh, which is taking a toll on him. Um, Kiara is, is at the foot of the bed, along with Khaleesi. Um, what do you do? Um, so I put the cloth back up the nightstand if there's one. And I see if uh, Khaleesi and, uh, actually, yeah, if Khaleesi, Khaleesi and um, Kiara, if they're hungry or anything, if they want to go get some food. Or one of them can stay back. Kiara is, is, is very keen on staying next to Thois. Um, you try to say, you know, you say, hey, who, who's hungry? Khaleesi gets up. Kiara just kind of gets up and moves closer to Thois. Lays her head on his chest. Alright, you can stay. And I go back and I um pet pet Kiara and of course get dressed and everything else. Okay. And kinda of just look out the window if there is a window. Okay. At this point. Doors begin to open. Echo, you want to get, uh, or sorry, uh, Eris, you want to go to the library. So you yes. get out, you open the door. But is there if I knock on Moby's door? Yes, you can go ahead and knock on Moby's door. Rayla, you hear a knock at the door. You hear a <laughs> as a spear embeds itself in the door. Oh, shit. All right, going to the library. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The little trent up. Yeah, wasn't ex <laughs> wasn't expecting to head home so soon. So as this happens, By the, way, like the spearhead it appeared right next to your face. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to roll a strength check for me real quick. By the way, me? No, Moby. Oh, Rayla. Once we're done with this, I want to have Echo do something out of her room. Yeah, I was going to no, get to on. you next. Just wait. Just yeah. wait. I know. I was just saying once it's done. Oh, well, yeah. Just wait. He'll go for everybody. All right, I'm gonna do <laughs> moment of truth. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Is he dead? <laughs> um, I'm gonna. Did I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to. Uh... I'm gonna just just send this in the chat. Real quick. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is scary when our DM has to send something in the chat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um. oh, Rayla. No. Yeah. I need you to roll damage, please. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the set. Okay. Oh my God. I don't know if I should use it as um, 
<laughs> I mean, she would, but should I do it? As Play a it like strike? it was her. Play it like it was her. What would she be doing? Okay. What would she be doing? It would be All a right. two-headed strike. You're trying to kill yourself. <laughs> no, he's, he's not. <laughs> All right. He's hitting Eris. Oh, jeez. Eris. <laughs> yeah. I hate to do uh, this to you. Um, I I hate to do this to you. He's still alive. He's still alive, or she's yeah, he's still alive. Um, but unfortunately, you take da 10 damage. Unfortunately, <laughs> oh. at this point, though, unfortunately, you go to knock on the door. You knock on the door. Mm -hmm. ah! and as soon as you hear the knock on the door, uh, as soon as you start knocking on the door, you see the spear shoot out and puncture your hand. <laughs> That must have hurt. <laughs> Rayla. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. On right, the we'll other side ass. of the door, you hear screaming. On top of their lungs, a bard. You don't know it's a bard, but you, you hear screaming on the other <laughs> side of the door. Sorry. Sorry. It's just a, just a little on edge lately. I ran out of the room with Khaleesi because I'm assuming I go there. At this point in time, yeah, you run out and then Echo runs out too. You guys see what's going on. Is, is, is my hand basically split? Your hand is literally sp uh, speared right now. There's a hole in your hand. Oh He's stuck to the door. Um, Echo walks out, looks at Scarlet. Can you please help me get his hand out of the door so we can heal it? Yeah. <laughs> Rayla, it's just us. Um, you, I don't know. Wait, could could Rayla see what he did? What she did? Rayla well, doesn't. Rayla doesn't know what he did. He also doesn't know who it is that he did it to. She doesn't realize Rayla, that she actually you... hit the. She doesn't. She doesn't know at all. Rayla, she doesn't know who hit he Harris. hit. She doesn't know who she hit. She doesn't know who who it was, and she doesn't know that she hit her, or she hit him. She doesn't know. Um, Hey, Ray, uh, Rayla, I don't know if you can hear me, but um, when Eris knocked on the door, you punctured his hand, by the way. Um, we're going to slowly move his hand out of the spear. Can you do us a favor and pull the spear out through the door? Are you able oh, to God. do that? Oh, no. <laughs> Well, okay. Are you gonna pull it out? I'm, I'm pulling the spear. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, uh, everyone knows. That's actually the worst thing to do. What I just said, but yeah, yes. Oh, I know it is. <laughs> it just is. So everyone knows what we're looking at. <laughs> okay. We're gonna say it's but um this one right here. And I kind of rephrase my slight sentence a little bit. This right here <clears throat> This right here is what was thrown at the door. <laughs> <laughs> And we is can't now really is pull that through the door. Um, okay, guys, I have a better idea. Rayla, can you, as you hit Eris, can you do us a favor? Can you slowly push the pull of said spear? Can it fit through the hole? No. Oh, oh okay. gosh, no. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> okay, so I mean, so basically, my idea was right. <laughs> that's a halberd. Uh -huh. A halberd is, is literally an axe with a spear on it. 
so there's no I way if you push it through so you're no. not gonna get it the only way he's gonna be able to do it is to pull it off wait no everyone stop hey, no i just got this i want to say something but echo look at scarlet and eris eris please do not move Scarlet, I feel like it would be best if one of us got his hand out slowly and the other one healed it as soon as possible so he doesn't bleed out anymore. Yeah, that's- I agree with that. At yes, this point, but, but one of the guards and a priest comes around the corner and goes, What in the world is going on here? We don't know. And they look at the at the door <laughs> and they see the hand the door. of of Eris stuck to the door and they're like, Oh dear. Oh dear, that's not good at all. Stand aside, stand aside. Please comes you know, out. I, I could probably just pull it out from here. No, no you will not no, do such a thing. Go. You will not do such a thing. On, this oh just got this, this point, to to find one. with all the commotion that's going on, Thois wobbles out of bed with uh, Kiara, and he is stumbling outside. He goes, uh, what Ira. in the... Eris? I, I run out and give him a hug. <laughs> I, I look over what is him. going on? I look over at Thoris. Thoris, um, don't mind those two. Good morning. Um, <sighs> oh, how, hold on, how much pain am I in right now? A lot. You're in a lot of pain. At this but point in time, the priest, the priest looks at you and goes, Don't move. He uses his spell. And the blade is pushed through back towards where Rayla is. And he does a healing spell on the hand. You have a slight scar on your hand now. But it's at least healed. <laughs> nice. There's no pain. Would, would be at this point, with at this my point. Skin color. I mean, whatever color you want it to be. It's red. Okay. At this point. Anyway. At this point, I know it's probably not a good idea to say it now, but uh, you know, I did say we had to talk about boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> I this, did not touch <laughs> you. Everyone, everyone. At this point, uh, at this point, what's happened now? Um. Uh, I know, I know. Um, this point, all of a sudden, with all the commotion going on, as as you're holding Thois, Curly or Scarlet, Thois kind of falls to one side on his knees and tries to push himself back up. He clearly doesn't have all of his strength yet. He's clearly um, worn out and not himself. And I could say something to Thoise. Yeah. I could look to Thoise. Thoise, do not push yourself right now. You're still weak as is. Take your time. All of you, I'm gonna go find us some food. Eris and Rayla, please don't make any more trouble. I glare at you. Now I know that I've made trouble, but I haven't You're one to stabbed. talk. <laughs> yeah, you are. I look at Scarlet. Scarlet, please make sure they don't kill themselves. And she just I... walks away. At least the one hey, I did buddy. didn't I have to take care of someone into voice. dying. I get hey, Tipsy, that, how's it going? Take care of all of them as much as possible. If you what, what's up, Tipsy? If you screaming, then stop them. And she, um, so, police, you know the that. thingy I texted you a little bit ago? Yes. I want to tie that into something she's going to do in the kitchen. If that I'm is okay. To speak to yell through. I want to move to the wall away from the. <laughs> nice job, the... Tipsy. Nice job. Like a little bit down the hall, a little bit. <laughs> so she doesn't really throw it at me. And I want to tell Scarlet and uh, Rayla we're going to be heading to my hometown. You guys need to see the destruction that thing caused. Hmm. If you don't mind Which me, town would that be? 
I yeah, was gonna say, hit me up on Discord. That, please, bef but please be quickly. I have to take the voice back to bed. I. What town did we call it? I don't think we did. Oh, that's handy. All I this, is Earth Lone. this is Earth Loan. This is Earth Loan. Earth Loan. Yeah, that's what he said. <coughs> We're Earth going Lone. to head to Earth Loan. Okay. So, um. can I make a strength check to break the <laughs> no! door even more? So that I, I can stick my hand out? I'm gonna go take voice to bed. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> run! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can I do my thingy in the kitchen, please? <laughs> and that's a lot. What thingy? Huh? What thingy? Before thing? you run, you see a okay, crossbow here, coming out of the door. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you get the rope and change. I cannot spell. I, I'm just talking about the kitchen, just so you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How fucked is my character on levels? I got a better pet name for him now. Mahaha. <laughs> I think it suits it better. You just better hope that Rayla doesn't put stuff together. I mean, Rayla's the only one that knows, that doesn't know yet. Oh. No, no, no. For the other part. Oh, your spirit or your other part? Relating to, um... Uh, Eris? Our backstories. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. I may be fucked. Actually, <laughs> you might stay here with your condition right now. It's probably better I stay with him, too, if Eris, no. but... You need to see this. You need I to really see what you. could happen. If oh, okay. not properly trained. Uh, oh, so you... Is that so good? You... Both. You. That's fine. Alright, cool, cool. Wait, both... Who do you mean by both, Eris? Our dragon companion. <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure which one you were... I'm sorry, I wasn't sure which one you were referring to, Eris. I, um, I might bring Rayla, but... I, considering I think... her reaction, I'm kind of scared for my life. I feel like you should take Echo. Um, if you don't mind, Eris, before we get going, um, because I'm really concerned about leaving Thois on his own, even though Kiara's there, but, um, let me bring him to bed first, and then, um, you can show me what you need to show me if, if you're One okay step. to wait a few minutes. Rayla, you're babysitting Thois. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good <laughs> idea after what I just did to you? Um, so... Well, I don't think I agree with that, yes. Harris. Um, just a question. How long do you think that will take Echo? Also, is Pika here? His character? No. no. I would say about 20 minutes. Okay. Oh. And Pika's just not here because he's not here. Tell me once uh, she's done. Okay. And I want to call 20 of the guards saying to babysit both of them. <laughs> okay, you call 20 guards. 20 guards. Um, at this point, yes, you're done, Deadly. Okay, so I walk back to Thois and Rayla because those are the only two there. Who walks in? You mean Scarlet. Rayla's not doing anything with Thois. I thought Thois and Rayla. It was Eris. I walk into Thois. Okay, I'm gonna walk into Thois. I mean, she has kind of just busted down the door to her room. Anyways, I walk into Thois. <laughs> Thois. Is he still awake? He's he's laying down. Scarlet's next to him right now. Scarlet, uh, you both should probably eat. We, we definitely should. I was she actually... gives uh, Scarlet a plate of food and puts a plate of food and walks out. Thank you, Echo. Come, my and then she Have walks in, into the boys and also gives them food. <laughs> okay. Rayla and uh, tell me how Aris. it is. She said that all of them. Uh, Rayla and Aris 
all of a sudden Echo comes up to you and just slams a plate of food into your hands. He goes, eat. <laughs> Is his also... hand still sore so it hurts? Mm -hmm. Yes, his no. hand's still sore. <laughs> <laughs> which What's hand does she... I put Actually, it in the non-injured hand. Can you both tell me how it is? It's our breakfast for you guys. Thank you, Echo, for you letting us know. I'll let you know. Who it is? All right. As the new day begins, the priest comes up and he goes. All right. But we can't have it is time so for us. It is time for us to start moving forward. Getting ready. And at this uh, point, yeah. because I know Deadleaf has to go to bed soon, it's almost nine o'clock. I don't. You don't. I can stay up a tiny bit later. All right. Well, we're gonna like do another a... hour. All right. Well, we gotta do a recap still. So, yeah. Um, this is a good stopping point. So, what we're gonna do, um, unless Curly had something else that she wanted to do. We need to know how good. It can was. I know my feedback first? Oh, yes. What do I do? I need to roll for that. Uh, I want to roll, so yes, right? it's charisma. Charisma. Uh, charisma. Uh, charisma. Please, I want you to be high because I did put it in my back in my thing mm -hmm. that I told bullets. No, do not go to that fort. Do not <laughs> go with the manage. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's good. It's decent. It's it's definitely uh, good enough. Um, Echo, you walk back into Toys' room. You walk back into Toys' room. You walk back into Toys' room and you see Scarlet um, spoofing Toys. I is there if I let Echo know the plan? Yeah, you can let her know. She's in Toys' room. So are you walking in? Yes. Right. You walk in, you see the same thing. Uh, Scarlet's spoon feeding toys. I told Scarlet this, plan? but both of you two are coming to my hometown. Are you sure that we should bring Scarlet and she shouldn't see her toys? Right now, you two need to see with your own eyes what that thing can do. Okay. The destruction it can cause. I felt the destruction in the air. It was, <laughs> it was not very pretty, but. And plus. And as you, as she says that, um, Eris, you look down, and you see Thois in the state of, state that he's in right now. And you can kind of get an idea of what she's talking about. I still feel like it's best that you guys come with me. I'll go with, of course, but it's up to Scarlet if she decides to leave toys. My light, um, my light of my life, what would you like me to do? Would you rather me stay with you? Or would you rather me go with Eris? Go. Find the answers you're looking for. He looks over at you. Drained. Energy is drained. Looks over at you and he goes, I'll be fine. I'm going to have Rayla stay behind. Okay. No. Yes. Oh, Rayla, shit. no. <laughs> this is the answer. No. <laughs> you should get some rest. You look exhausted. Oh, God. This is the reckoning coming. Well, okay, <laughs> okay. So Echo reaches out and talks to Thois. I will. Okay. And I will make sure Scarlet is as safe as I can. You guys start to get ready. You make your way out to the door. Scarlet, you being as close as you are now to Thois. Look back at the room. Where is that? Having a sense of, I hope he's okay. I hope he's safe. As you start making your way out to Eris's town. 
else did like... that as a DM, but yes. Huh? <laughs> I DM'd you what else I did and then go. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Before that happens, um, yeah. Echo and Rayla, are you in the room too? Yeah. Okay. Echo, Rayla, and Eris. Well, still on the helper. <laughs> you see Scarlet. Kiss him goodbye. She walks towards the door. And you start to walk out. She pauses. She looks back at the door. From the ground level, on the second level, where he's at. At the balcony of the room where they were at. With a sense of concern on her face. What do you guys do? Scarlet, the kingdom will do all they can to keep him alive and well. But for now, you have to focus on your mission, the one he wanted you to go on. Okay? Just You're alleviate his concerns. For now, let's focus on what's ahead. Things You're right. That when we get back. You're right. No, no, I agree. I just, I. I know you're worried. Yeah. He's just done so much for me, you know. But I know that's what he wanted me to do. So. Uh, bullets. Am I back at full health? Yes. No, you're not because you got injured this morning. You're not. <laughs> How much did I heal? Uh, you only healed like four. Heal? Four. I yep. got a short rest. Okay. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and end the session here because it's a good stopping point. That way we have time to do the recap with uh, Echo before she goes to bed. So I hope everyone enjoyed the session that we had. I hope everyone enjoyed the um, series so far. Uh, a lot of plot twists happened today. A lot of them did. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to do our outro and then we'll be right back into our do our uh, our recap as always thanks for tuning in today i hope you enjoy the content that we brought to you rogue energy AK racing w energy are our um sponsors make sure you check them out make sure you show us love support as always i appreciate everyone coming out and, and doing this so as always we'll see you in the next episode stay tuned because we are going to do uh have fun uh tipsy uh, we got to go and do the uh, uh, recap. So stay tuned for the recap. We'll see you back here in just a second.